Hello, crafty cuties. Hope everyone is lovely. Today we are going to do a really simple, easy project. Just something that I came up to use these transparent wings from Tim Holtz. Um, the idea itself is not super original or anything, but I just wanted to find some way to use these up because they're really cool and I just didn't know what to do with them. Um, I also grabbed my other pack of Tim Holtz uh, butterflies just in case I wanted to use those. And we are going to be making these insect slides and we're just going to hop right in. Really simple project. So I am using some manila colored paper. It's a pretty heavy cardstock. Um, I just really like this color, but you can use book pages. You can use any type of paper that you want. And I'm just going to cut mine down. Let's see. I think I did these like, I don't know, two and a half. I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to make these uh, three inches wide actually. And then I think, I think I'll just do a three by three. So I'm actually going to cut this into, you want to do double the um, height that you want. We're just going to fold this in half, basically. So then I'm going to go ahead and just fold this in half, like so. Now you guys probably know, if you're not new, that I don't really like measuring things. So that's what we're going with here. <laughs> okay. Now, I like I, you know, like I said, this is pretty much an easy base idea. I know that you guys can take this and totally make it your own. But you know what? I'm realizing I don't like how wide it looks, so I am actually going to trim off about a half an inch. So it'll be about two and a half inches by three inches. So, so if you want to do the same size as me, cut a piece of paper that's two and a half inches by six inches. Okay, guys. So see, here we go. And we're going to fold it in half like so. And then I'm going to take my circle punch. Now you can cut out whatever shape you want. I think a lot of the slides have more of a rounded square shape. And I really like that. I may do one of those um, next when we make one more together. But for right now, I'm just going to do this because I thought it was easy to use my circle punch. Now, as always, not measuring. I'm just going to line it up as good as I can. And go like so. Now I want the top of the slide to have more space than I do um, at the bottom. So then I'm going to take my pencil just because I want to line this up perfectly. I do want my two holes to line up just right. So I'm just doing this so that when I take my circle punch again, I can just make sure I have that just right. And so I think that should be okay. There we go. So then you see when you close them, you have the two circles right there. Okay, so then what we are going to do is go ahead and find a transparent wing that's small enough. And again, if you would rather pick out your wing or butterfly or whatever you're using, um, another idea is you could take like some type of a butterfly book and cut out a picture of a butterfly or um, um, any type of bug. You could do a pressed flower. You could even print out something on vellum and that would look really cool. But again, um, and so if you wanted to do that first and then you can figure out how big your hole needs to be, you can do that route. This is just what I'm doing for this first one here. So I previously filmed this video about three weeks ago and I lost the footage. So I'm actually refilming it. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. Okay. So then you're going to need some type of plastic or you could use like packaging tape if you wanted and you would just need to um, use, you would just need to tape whatever it is you're using, the transparent wings or butterflies so that they're completely covered by packaging tape. But I am going to just go ahead and kind of measure here what I need. Just reusing some packaging here, so. I'm just going to measure this and have it be a little bit smaller than my slide. But you do want to make sure it's big enough to cover that hole. <laughs> Arlo is uh, making some cute little noises. She's playing right now. She kind of got to the point where she doesn't yell every time I talk. So now, so I used packaging and so this was a bag and so I just cut it out once but then I have two pieces. 
it just folds over pretty much just like this. So you do need two pieces of um, plastic here. Now I'm going to take my glue. Actually, first, you know what I'm going to do? Sorry, I'm actually going to take some of my ink here and I'm going to ink up this entire thing. Now you could, um, you could tea dye this, coffee dye this, if you would rather have a more like vintage look to it. You can keep it clean cut. Like I said, you can use different papers. I think book pages would look really cool. I also was thinking that it would look really cool um, to decoupage this and really decorate it. And you might be wondering like, what can you do with this? But I think it's going to look really cool inside a botanical, what did I say? Botanical, but I think I said botanical. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I got like three hours of sleep last night. Anyways, I think it would look really cool in a botanical uh, journal or you could be on the cover of a journal. It could go in some type of a um, project. I mean, you could do so much with it. Now I realize I'm going to also round the top corners here. Optional, just how I liked it. And I just realized, I don't know, this is pretty thick cardstock, so that may or may not really work. Try this one. There we go. Not perfect, but that's okay. So just ink those up thin. And just kind of go over. Sorry guys, I was out of frame there. The entire thing. Okay. So like I said, now I'm going to gonna open this up and I am going to glue one side down just so I make sure to get the wing placement just right. So I'm going to bring in just a bit here, take my glue. I'm using the Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. I only have a little bit left here. And I'm just going to place one side of my plastic down here. And then open that up. If you can kind of, it's hard to see, I know that and then make sure you know where the front is. Now I'm going to add a dot of glue on where it's gonna be kind of behind the wings because I don't want them to move around and that's gonna dry just fine. Okay, so that fits just about perfect. But now I'm gonna add a little bit of glue around so that the plastic is completely enclosed. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add some glue to close the top of this. You could also sew around this. Um, okay, so I guess that wasn't perfect, but it's totally fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. So that's pretty much all you need to do to get the base of that. And I keep going out of frame, sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna trim some of my plastic off here down at the bottom. I got just a little too much. From here, what you can do is add any type of words. Um, I just went through my book here, but you could print something out, you could write something. Um, now, I just picked like a word that literally didn't even match up to what I have here, but I didn't mind. Oh, Arlo. Hi, honey. I don't want her to grab the, um, <laughs> the tripod, but she's going to. Hi, can you say hi? Okay, so I'm just gonna take a page here and I'm just going to cut out, this says Gypsy Moth. But yeah, totally up to you how many words you have. Let me, uh... <laughs> this is just honestly the most quick, the quickest way for me to, my camera stopped filming, but all I did was <clears throat> went ahead and glued this on. So I also found a couple more um, little numbers in that same book, 1994. We'll just go with that one. I'm gonna kind of ink up around that. It's a little hard because it's tiny. So then I'm just gonna glue that on too. But again, here, this is just up to you what you want to add. And you can really decorate from here however you want. You can make it look as realistic. You can look like on Google and see what a real uh, insect slide would look like, or you can just get creative. Um, I was thinking you could use like the Tim Holtz word stickers too if you wanna make this more of a journaling section. Um, you could journal on the back if you did wanna use it in a journal, or you can just use it for decoration. So the other idea that I had was to go ahead and use an eyelet and 
I'm just going to grab one. I was just thinking this would be kind of cute um, so that we can make it into a tag. And so I'm just going to place it on the corner here. But you can do whatever you want on yours. I'll go ahead and make one more with you using the butterflies. Um, so I'm just going to place that in right there. Yeah, I already like how that looks actually. And then I can go ahead and attach it to a journal with some trim. So really like that. So let's go ahead and make one more using the butterflies. So same idea. I took a piece of paper that was two and a half inches by six. I folded it in half. And then I'm going to make this one more of a rectangle um, cut out. So I just took something for a template. This is one and a half inches by two inches. And I'm just going to trace around it. And if you have a die or something like that, you can go that route. But I'm just gonna trace around this on both sides and then I will cut out the hole. I cut one side out, but before I cut the top, I am actually going to do a little decoupage and I'm going to use the collage papers here and I'm just going to place some of this over top the entire front and then I'll cut the hole out. I just thought this would give it kind of a different look and I am just going to kind of pick a random piece here. Just tear this off and I'm just gonna add glue to this entire front and I'm just again using the Tombow Mono as much as I have left of it at least. I'm just gonna kind of rub over it with my fingers. I just thought this would be a little easier to do before I cut the hole out. So I'm just going to kind of I think place it right here and whoops that grabs right away. I should have brought it up a bit but that's okay because we can add some more to the top. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut this, trim this off. So you can add as much you know collaging as you want. I'm going to stick with this and I went ahead and traced out the hole here. You can see it's not perfect, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out and I'll be right back. So this is what we have. Now, my sides are pretty thin, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that, but once everything's glued together, it'll be just fine. I do think I will go ahead and ink up the edges all around here. Um, I think these would actually be so fun for Halloween and I actually just got an idea. Um, so yeah, stay tuned if you wanna see some Halloween slides. I think we could do like skeletons and just make it super fun. And you could go to town on decorating. Um, yes, that sounds super fun. How many of you are ready for fall? Probably, right? Um, and it's just funny because it, it, it comes so fast it seems. But okay, so I'm gonna have to glue that part down again, but that's okay. I'm so sorry, I keep going off frame. I am kind of like watching my baby while I'm doing this because um, I'm just making sure she's not going to come and try to knock down the tripod. So there we go. I'm going to stop there. And then now we can take our um, plastic. I went ahead and cut out my plastic here. So I have two pieces again, although my piece is just one big piece folded in half. And we can go ahead and pick out a butterfly that we want from this Tim Holtz pack. I did like a whole flip through of this pack if you want to see all the pieces there that are in it. It's a more updated version of the Tim Holtz um, embellishment pack that he has. Okay, so that one's pretty. It's a little bit bigger, which is totally fine, but I wanna see if I can find one that will fit just right. I'm trying not to have to take everything out, but we may have to do that. And I, like I said, flowers would look great in this or like pressed flowers. Um, I definitely have some pressed flowers that I think I'd love to use. Okay, so this one fits perfect, but I just love the color of this one. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go with this. So now we need to just go ahead and remember where your top is, but I'm going to glue down half of the plastic here. And I think, yeah, these would look so cool to be sewn around. Now this plastic's a little big, but that's totally fine because I can just trim that up once we have everything together. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny dot of glue. Now, if you wanted, you can also make these double-sided so you can make sure that the back is just as decorated, but I'm not gonna worry about that because I will probably at some point have it um, in a journal, like glued down or, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, honestly, but the, Halloween idea I'm so excited about and I already have a ton of ideas so I hope I can get to all of the ideas that I have 
there we go. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the top down. Now this obviously is not like a traditional looking slide, but I like how I took the idea and just kind of made it my own. And that's what I'm hoping that you guys will get out of this video. And also maybe you were just looking for a way to use these transparent wings. I think they look so cool in here, but I am going to actually just use the Tim Holtz board stickers. <laughs> She's laughing by the way, if you're wondering what that little is. She's right there. Hi. Hi. I'm going to use this one that says the journey is the destination and I'm going to cut it kind of in half here and just place it right on top. And then I am also going to add an eyelet. I'll just go ahead and clamp this down using my crop a dial. Here we go. So there's that one. I think this is super fun. Definitely a little bit more busy, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this idea and I hope that you will take it and make it your own. So here are the final slides. So you can see how we took the original idea just using these transparent wings and kind of transformed it into a fun project that you can use for any theme. Um, I went ahead and made this one off camera and I love this so much. Um, I'm gonna actually put this in Arlo's baby book and I did two of the eyelets as you can see. And I just love how it ended up looking and I used just a sunflower die cut. And then here's a little sneak peek into the Halloween version. So um, I'll go over all the supplies I used and everything when I get to this video. It's probably gonna be a few videos down. We have lots of projects to come, but I had to show you a sneak peek. I think we're gonna be able to do a lot of fun things with this. So I hope to see some photos from you guys on Instagram. And that's all for today, guys. I will see you later. Bye.